What's up guys, Zach Scott here playing Animal Crossing New Leaf and I have exciting news, someone new has moved into town today. I bet I know who it is, we're gonna go see her in just a little bit, but first I'm gonna open my mail, cause I do have some new mail. Uh, I also have a lot of stuff in my inventory that I need to get rid of. What is this, skeleton hood? I need that. I'm wearing a bug hood right now, I got some fertilizer. It's a, okay, we'll, we'll deal with this in just a little bit, but first, uh, let me, uh, let me read, uh, from Gulliver. Here we go. Dear Zach, thank you for all of your help right now. I'm on a lovely holiday in Rome. My gift to you is the mouth of truth, but don't stick your hand in its mouth and start lying from Gulliver. And then, uh, this is from Rod. Zach, I need your help. As part of working on my weaknesses, I thought I'd try sending you a serious letter and present. Well, what do you think? On a scale of one to 10, how serious is this? Seems like a pretty serious letter. What's the present though? It's probably gonna be a gag gift. So the gift itself, it's a waffle tea. <laughs> what? What does that look like? Well, that looks pretty cool, actually. <laughs> uh, but let me just uh, wear the hot dog tank instead. Nah, let's wear the waffle tea. I think I'm liking the waffle tea look right now. I don't know why it's called a waffle tea. And then, uh, oh, let me just go inside. I should have prepared this before, but I need to clear out a little bit of my inventory to get my present from Gulliver. And also I got the Mouth of Truth, which I think I might already have. I need to open up like a, a museum room full of Gulliver's presents. I think that's, that would be the, the most beneficial thing for me. Of course, that limits the number of museum rooms. I mean, that's my last museum room if I do that. We're gonna listen to KK Calypso. And then we're going to uh, drop a candy on the floor. Cause uh, how many, I don't know how many candies I actually need. Star shades. Let's clear out some space here. Stash away some of the things that I actually want. Uh, we can get rid of, uh, what? Soft, no. Steel flooring, no. Wrestler tank, argyle knit shirt, doctor's mirror. Ski mask, armor suit. It's a big, it's really, really tough here to see what I want to do. Um, ladder shades, curly mustache, vintage camera. Oh, I don't know. I don't remember what stuff is, uh, which stuff is good and which stuff is, oh, I already have room. So forget about that. We're going to put star shades in here and we're going to put my skeleton hood in here. And then also my hot dog tank, if I have room. I'll take out some of these mushrooms. Let's sell those mushrooms. Put my hot dog tank in there. We got a desk light. Who actually wants that? Coin and fire flower. I'm pretty sure I already have the coin and fire flower in my museum. But you know what? I'll deal with that later. I don't want to sort through that stuff now. I'll sell my mushrooms, sell my fossils, place my fertilizer, get that done, taken care of. Done and taken care of. I don't know what I just said. Anyway, uh, where are we going? I'm going to go say hello. Uh, was her name Lolly? I totally forget her name. That's okay. Let's go sell some stuff, then go say hello to our neighbor, our new neighbor, and see how her presence interferes with my path and my plans. She is in the upper right. It's kind of uh, near Hopper. I don't like Hopper's space at all, so I'll be glad when he moves. Right now, Prince is like the only guy living over here. Hi, Prince. And then, um, okay, so let's just go. I'll check this rock for moneyness. Nope, <laughs> moneyness. What are you buying today, Reese? One day she's gonna be buying fossils, but nope, she's buying pearl oyster shells. And I just don't have the drive or the initiative to go collect a bunch of pearl oyster shells for her. So, guess what, Reese? What's up? Hello there. Welcome. Hi. Um, well, new stuff on the on the marketplace here. And I would like to put something on here. I would. You caught me. And then, uh, what would I like to sell? How about a diplo neck or a shark tooth? How about a diplo neck? How much is that? Let's see it. How much? Five. No, 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 no. Quit. That's too much. It's not enough profit. So let's see. Let's see what else I can put on here. Uh, I would. Here we go again. And then I want to sell maybe my iguanodon skull. Someone's here to visit. 4,000? Man. It's not very much either. I need something like in the 2,000 range for me to make a lot of money off of it. So never mind, forget it. I did change my mind. I'm just gonna sell everything to you. I would like to sell. I'm going for maximum profit here, so I might as well just sell my fossils when there's not. Look at all that. And I'll go, you know, I'll sell my fertilizer too. I'm just buying fertilizer to get, to get a gift from uh, Leaf. Crunch those numbers, please. 27,000 bells, that sounds like a good deal. And then uh, let's see what you have, Amelia, wearing your orange shirt. Let's go see if you like any of these two fossils over here that I have on display. You do. 
I've got a pretty good eye when it comes to bargains, and I really want a mammoth skull. Did you put that item up for sale, Zach? Because I'm really tempted. What do you think? Yeah? Bye. All right, I was hoping you'd say that now. Back to shopping. I've got more bargains to hunt. Hey, Reese, can you ring me up, please? Ace. Okay. Oh, well, why don't I just pay you directly? Do you accept bells? Cha-ching. <laughs> of course I accept bells. What other type of... Okay, I, I do accept bells. Thanks, Zach. I mean, I was going to buy this item anyway, but you, your endorsement means a lot. All right, let's go see. Thank you. Come again. Now I'm really curious what this new person in my town is going to do here. Let's go see her. Do, 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 do. There's a looks like a fossil. There we go. Dug up a fossil. I guess I can check for money rocks while I'm here. I'm almost there. That's the money rock right there. Please don't make me move any farther back. Okay, thank you. I want to get all of the money from here. It'll be like 16,000 if I can get it all. Got it all. There we go. Great. And then uh, let me go ahead and pick up the bags and then I'll pick up the coins. I don't know how much space I actually have. Oh, I could have picked up the coins too. That's okay. Whoa. Merge it all together. I'm gonna have to back a project soon. I could probably back that geyser now that I know exactly where uh, back. <laughs> I'm talking in Kickstarter terms. Uh, I could probably, you know, fund that geyser now that uh, now that I know exactly what's what, what, who's where. See, Hopper's house is in a very annoying place. I wanted this place to be kind of clear, but nope. Oh, it's a turnip lady. Ignore that. Whoa, wicked. So look at this. This is where uh, this is where the cat decided to move, and this was a fake one. <laughs> so funny. So that's such a weird area. I'm not accustomed to having stuff over here like that. I really wish I could get rid of this rock now. I, there's no way to get rid of rocks, are there? This bench seems t in a bad place too. I don't know. It's kind of weird for this person to be living all the way over here to me. But you know what? Since she's here, let's start putting trails in front of her house, and then we'll go talk to her. Uh, so let me just, uh, yep, get this done with over and over. That's probably too much. Just play on the ground. Alright, out of space there. Gonna pick up this flower. And so I want it to basically extend this trail all the way. And that would basically mean, like, this money rock is not as useful. That's what would end up happening. I could do a trail over this area. You know, like I could I could do it like up and over. That would be kind of cool. Then leave a space for the money rock to, to bling out. But I want to move this then. In fact, I could do that. That would be actually really good because then I could put a geyser up here. And everyone wants to see a geyser up here, right? No, maybe. Yeah, let's put some more trailage going on here. <laughs> trailage, that's the right term, right? Just gonna kind of put this around. You get to see. I'm I'm excited that she moved in, mostly because I get to do some more of the, of the trail. That's probably what's really driving this. <laughs> so uh, I wish she would have moved in at the exact level, but she didn't. As I was really wanting her to move in at the exact level of the other guy, but she did not. That's okay. Um, let's see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna just keep placing more trail here. I no, not where. No, no, no. What? Okay, let's war that trail. And I could always, you know, start doing some some stair type stuff too. I didn't really think of that. But if I do this, this preserves this money rock's uh, usefulness, uh, basically. In the case that it is a money rock. Get rid of that. And so you see what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to make this go up and over. And I think that'll be just fine for her. So we got, you gotta go over here. Then if I wanna go to her house, I plan on going up and over. And I don't know exactly where to go up. Maybe extend it just a little bit so I go to, and then I can do a path over here to get to a geyser that's like right here. That would be really stellar. Um, so let's go visit her. Sorry for, okay, let's just, let's go visit her, see what's up. Hopefully she likes seeing me. She did wanna move here after all. Hello, kitty kitty. It's Lolly. Oh, Zach. I'm so glad to see you. It was your invitation at camp that convinced me to move here. I'm not finished unpacking yet, but when I am, I hope you'll you'll come and visit me again. Me too. Sock, I brought a lot of books with me, so it's taking me a long time to organize everything. So here she is. I'm dressed as a bug. She is a cat. I was going to say she's dressed as a cat. Let's take a thumbnail photo together. 
This is like uh, the equivalent of a selfie. Like, ta-da! Like, look this way, though. Don't you want to look this way? Don't you want to look... Yes! No, don't don't walk! Don't walk. Ching! Okay, that's good. Right that. Like, if I can just capture that split-second moment. Or this moment. This is a good moment, too. Sort of. All right, whatever. Thanks for moving in, Lolly. We got it. And as soon as Hopper leaves, my life will be a lot easier. But... <laughs> But no, now that I think about it, I mean, like, I don't know, I just kind of feel bad. Yeah, I hope he leaves. Sorry. <laughs> Someone has to say it. I don't want to buy turnips. You're tricky. I could make a lot of money, though, if, if I buy turnips. Ugh. What should I do, guys? Should I buy the turnips and see if I can make some money? I think that sounds like a good plan. Let me get other things done first. I may or may not remember to do that. But let me go, uh, let me go up. See the stores. See what everything has in store. Probably should learn another joke or so. Um, let's see what I got. Let's shake down persimmons. Because then I can sell the other two. There we go. It's a shakedown. Persimmon shakedown. All right. I'm actually probably going to end up chopping that tree down. Anyway, persimmons. Gather them up. One's going to be given away. Got a couple fossils to assess if I really want to. Um... I'm gonna go see if Gulliver is here, just on the slim chance that he is. Oh, well, these trees are all ready to be chopped down too. Let's go ahead and chop those down. Get those over with. It's nothing special. Nothing special, that means I'm digging them up. Goodbye. There we go with that too. All right. I, I doubt Gulliver's here, but I, I've got to check. Hey, Hopper, I'm going to ignore you in hopes that you eventually leave. I'm ignoring everyone, too, just because I'm in a hurry. What's up, cat? Say, Z-Bear, greetings are really important, don't you think? You hear a good greeting, and right away you get an idea of what that person's all about. You think there's some kind of greeting that would help me make my, the best impression? Of course. Oh, yeah? You really think so? Well, then what is it? I think here Kitty Kitty has outlived its usefulness. Um, what's another cat related thing? Uh, how about... Maybe it's like when she greets someone, she's going to be holding someone up. So she's like... She's like... Paws up. That's <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> That's all I can think of. Paws up. And let's let's add an exclamation point to that. Where's the where are the symbols? There we go. And for whatever reason, the exclamation point is like on a page they don't want you to find. Pause up. Pause up. <laughs> what do you think? Is this the one? Nice. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like it. I could really really like. I really really like it. And I'm gonna steal it. Thanks, Zach. Pretty. <laughs> She's gonna steal it from me. Just gonna check out Gulliver. Or he's probably not here. There's like a very slim chance that he's here again. But I mean, last time I went and checked on him. Yeah, he's not here. Okay, that's okay. I don't know what I was expecting. Let me go see, uh, let me go up north. This trail is pretty cool. I feel like I need to uh, redo the campsite position though. And, uh, of course, I'm going to learn a joke because I'm almost done with learning jokes, and that's going to be pretty exciting once I do learn all the jokes. Anything going on today? No. That's okay. We got a new person moving in. That's exciting enough as it is. So let's go hear some jokes. Well, wait, we're going to go to the store first. I think that's more important. TNT, M, but no, no. You know, it's, it's totally more important going to the Abel Sisters to see if there's a new mask for me. I want all the Halloween masks for some reason. I don't know why for sure. Uh, nope, nothing new. Hi, Zach. Welcome. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, and see you soon. Now, let's go check out the real deal Holy Field. The, uh, <laughs> the TNT Emporium. There's bound to be some exciting stuff here. And if not, oh well. I have a list of records. Of course, I, I shop Leaf's place first because, you know, he's here. He has fertilizer. He has, uh, here we go. Let's see here. That's a happy fertilizer. 
It's a ton of money. Yeah, I'll buy it. Whatever. I need to learn how to use this properly. All right, we can we can plant the cedar sapling, obviously. Hold up, Zach. Your purchase today comes with a happy bonus. Yes! It's a golden axe! It's so strong it won't break no matter how many trees you chop down. Oh, but wait. I'm not trying to give you the suggestion to chop through a bunch of trees. Zach, you bought a lot of saplings from me. So use that axe wisely and make a story of the most beautiful town this world has ever seen. Yes! I finally got the golden axe! I got the golden axe. This thing will never break. Where is it? The yes. Yes. So what's the gift for buying fertilizer? Because if there's no gift for buying fertilizer, I'm gonna not. I'm gonna stop buying it. But I'm gonna look it up online. The or you can just leave a comment below. But I will look it up online after this video. Hey Rod, what's up? Ugh, there's too much stuff here. I don't know where to start, Purdy. What you need? Want to chat? Sure, let's just chat. I get kind of nervous in here. <laughs> it's such a classy place. Totally. Uh, candy time. A candy, a fine item. Yes, limited time offer for the season. I'll take it. Thank you kindly for your purchase. All right, let's see. How much space do I have in my inventory? I don't have any space in my inventory right now. Ugh. So if, oh, wait, you know what, though? I can always sell something to him. Let me sell a couple things. I know, I know more than others that this place is not buy them for full price, but uh, like, like uh, Reese does at the recycle center. But I want to sell uh, the sapphire and two of the persimmons and a flower, <laughs> white tulips. There we go. That would mean, yes, I can buy these for you for a total of 2,000. Okay, fine, fine enough. All right, now let's see what kind of records are here. I don't even know if I had to sell them. A KK house, I definitely have that. I have to have that. That sounds so familiar. It sounds like something that I would listen to normally. Uh, KK house, I have it. Fine item, but I do not want to buy it, so. Uh, what's next? Some sort of mystery? What is this? KK Pondering. Whoa, I doubt I have that. I don't. I'm going to buy it. The price for Pondering is expensive. I'll take it. I'm going to have a full selection of music to choose from, but that is okay. So shiny. Now let's see what's up top. I'm pretty sure I'll have whatever's for sale up here. Welcome, welcome. This is the second floor, the interior design floor. So designy. Wow, lots of stuff. I already have this stuff, though. Well, all the stuff that I'm interested in, I have, is what I'm saying. And then I'll go over here. And the golden axe. I'm so glad I got it. This place looks cool. Looks full of stuff that I already have or don't want. I need to make a dessert shop with all the cake stuff she has. Anyway... Just making the rounds. I wonder if I have all the spooky stuff. I need to check a list, a master list of all the spooky stuff. To see if I have it or not. Now I'm going to go over to Shrunk and learn another joke. Or another gesture, whatever you guys want to call it. Another emotion of some sort. And excuse me, squeeze me. Thank you for visiting. Come again. Thank you for having me. I really do appreciate it. So, let's see what kind of, uh, what kind of joke Shrunk has for me, for me today. Do 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 do. All right, here we go. Oh, we're not open for the day yet. Is there something you needed? I brought a snack. Oh, really? That makes me so happy. What did you bring me? Uh, I brought you a persimmon, buddy. Hope you like it. Oh, what do we have here? You look shocked. Like, do you not like these? I hope you like them, because you look shocked. All right, let's see what his joke is today. Woo, that was quite satisfying. Well, thanks a bunch. I should probably return the favor now, shouldn't I? Hmm, then how about I tell you a really good joke today? All right, I have, I have to get ready first, so just wait right here a sec. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Shrunk is in the house. My love joke is just a thing to cure what ails you. Did you know that love makes everything nicer? So let me tell you about my wife. She used to be the sweetest girl in the whole wide world. She used to say, Shrunk, you're my funny honey. But these days, the missus says things like, don't leave me all the housework. Why do you, why do you come home so late? 
When is that club of yours gonna pay the bills? Yep, the missus really knows how to make me feel like a big joke. But little does she know, I love feeling like a big joke. Ha! <laughs> one of, uh, on the scale of, uh, of shrunk jokes, that was one of the better ones. So what did you think? The first time you see my love joke, and now I got it in my joke book. All right, now let's see it. I just wanna see what it looks like when I use it. I only have one, two, three, four, five, six more jokes to learn. Then I won't have to see Shrunk anymore. I love that I won't have to see Shrunk anymore. <laughs> Come back next time for more Animal Crossing New Leaf. I'll try to do some public works projects, get my town a little more expanded. I'll see you then. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching and check out these other awesome videos. See you next time.